Dahlia, the fitness astronaut. I'm here to show you today how to do modifications when you're doing your workouts. Today's modifications are, be, are gonna be focusing on Pio and what you need to do to be successful in your workout. Now, some of you guys already know that Pio is very uh, low impact, but it also has some challenges along the way, especially if we are weak in our body, uh, in, our, in certain parts of our body, especially in the mid-core area and flexibility is another issue. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys some modifications as you build your workouts and your skills and techniques in Pio. Let's check it out. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is plank. So plank typically is like this. So you can do something like this, straight, okay? And then you can, but for some people who can't do it, there is a modification. Either get a wall like this and then do something like this. Eventually you do this, and then you can even challenge yourself doing that. Like that. Pigeon. So pigeon is something where you get your leg like this, you build it up, and you cross it in. Kind of like that. It's kind of really hard to, to show. But if you're really, really tight and you can't do it, you have two options. One is lay down like this, get your leg, cross it, and then push in. That way it, it really does strengthen your butt muscle, your IT band, and some other areas without putting so much weight on your legs. So again, leg up, cross, push back, or even do this, or this, and then switch. Push back. Another way to do a modification on, on pigeon is also this. You get a chair, you can sit down, put your leg right up here, push gently here, contract your leg, push down, and then bend over a little bit. So you feel a pull, like that. Same thing, push here, strengthen it, tight, uh, flex, gently push down, and then bend over, straight back. Then the next modification would be Pio Cross. Pio Cross is more like you're going this and that and this and that and this. But if you have lower back issues like I do, I pull my psoas doing this, I have to do modifications like this. I have to do this, that, this. It's still effective, tighten your core, and you should be fine. But you don't have to bend down all the time. You just basically do this. So it's like this, you're still working your quad, and bring it down, straight back. Next one is crouching crow. Now crouching crow is something like this, where you kind of like lean down and do something like that. But honestly, some of us don't even have the strength. It's too much for our front area to handle, and it's difficult. So when it comes to crouching crow, I want you guys to use a chair or something pivoted where you get to still work on that area. So when you're here, you can work on this. Kind of just work your, your strength this way on an angle. You can even use a chair. You can, I even do this. Like if I see something like even a, like a, you see here. Sometimes I can use like a, like an edge of something. You can get this and like lean closer. Instead of here, I could just do this. So you can use any type of elevated surface to be able to do your modification. So I just showed you four modifications to do Pio, to do any workout that requires those, those types of moves. And I hope this was effective today. So if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to message below. Go ahead and like my page, and uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Stay active and keep going. Bye.